Good morning, folks. Uh, welcome back to uh, the Dust Setter uh, on YouTube. Uh, we bring you entertainment, sports, and news. Now that the dust has settled, we are now going to talk about the fight between between uh, Canalo Everest and Jamal Charlo. It was not a great fight, but it was a, a good fight. Charlo lost the fight, which of course. I really don't like to. I don't like to predict uh, uh, these fights because anything can happen. We see Anthony Joshua lost to uh, uh, Ruiz, Andy Ruiz. We see um, Mark Tyson lost to uh, Douglas, and uh, many surprises are going on in boxing. So I don't like to predict fights, you know. And the fight between Charlo. And uh, Canalo Everest, who are, at the time, before Saturday he won, he fought 59 times, lost two. So that sa last Saturday's fight was Canalo Everest, 60th, 60th fight. You know, it just had to, to, to I, I think, Shallow. Jamal Shallow, the, 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 the two brothers there are so confusing. But the guy that fought Canelo Everett, uh, Everett, I think he's supposed to be a little more aggressive. Because if you want to win a champion, you got to do more than what he did. And I don't think, you know, it's easy, you know, for us to, to criticize because we're not in the ring. One of my friends who was a boxer told me, he said, if you stay a, a, a minute in the ring, it's like a, it's like a whole day. So, we know it's, 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 it's difficult, you know, we, we who follow boxing and stuff like that, we always want to make our own prediction as to, you know, who going to win and uh, what the other person is supposed to have done. Uh, American football, American football, they say, uh, Monday morning quarterbacking, right? What the person is supposed to have done, what they didn't do. So my, my money money quarterback in, you know, now that the dust settled, I think Shallow didn't fight a bad fight. But I think he needed to be more aggressive than he was. He needed to be more aggressive than he was. Because Canalo is a very good boxer. One of his losses were against Mayfield Wedding. And his other loss was against Beaver. So he have, that's the two losses he had. Charlotte had one loss, I think one loss against uh, uh, Harrison. So I think, I think why I'm not trying to criticize any of these fighters who really put their lives on the line to get in the ring and fight. I just think a, a little more aggression would have I don't say you want to fight, but being a little bit aggressive, going on the attack, and uh, more would have made, made, made a, a, a huge difference in the fight. A huge difference in the fight. Having said that, there were some uh, other things that happened. Let's say that was said. What Charlotte was saying, somebody asked a question. You know what I'm saying? What are you going to, you know, be willing to fight uh, Cruffer? So he's going to fuck Crawford. That means that means he has to come down to um, 154 hours or, or lower to fight uh, to fight uh, Crawford. But Crawford too has a fight on hand. He's supposed to be fighting uh, Spence or uh, Spence. So we we are going to we're going to see what happens. Uh, everybody wants to. Most people want to want, want to see the fight or rematch between uh, Spence and uh, Crawford. So we're going to see what's happening. But there are a lot of fights. There are other fights that if you look down in the bar lines, you're going to see a lot of fights happening on Saturday. Uh, Saturday uh, will be a fight in uh, Manchester, England. 
they're going to be a fight in um, La La Ve La Ve Canada, and there's also going to be a fight in Las Vegas, and then another fight going to be taking place. Another fight is going to be taking place in in Japan, in Tokyo, Japan. So there are a lot of fights going to be taking place. So fight, fight, the fight fans are a lot, you know, lot many fights that will going on. So if you look in the, if you look uh, at the bottom of the screen, uh, you're going to see the fights that are going on, and uh, you, if you can watch them. So those fights we're going to, you know, going to uh, watch them, and uh, next week. Um, We'll come back and you know, after the dust settle, you're gonna come back and analyze the fight and see what you know this person supposed to have done to win the, to win the fight. Why did they win the fight? Why S Y S Y or Z happened? So, well, give me a take. What do you think about the fight between uh, Canelo Everest and and uh, Charlo? What do you think the fight was? I think it was a good fight. When somebody asked me before the fight. Who I thought was going to win the fight. I said, I don't want to predict the fight because, as I already said, people predict fights and then they turn out to be something. The fights you win are yesterday's fight. The fight that is going to happen to, tomorrow, nobody knows the result. Although we use your past fights, your past fights to, to predict what's going to happen in the future, most of the time it, does, it doesn't happen that way. Nobody expected my thousand dollars, as I said, and he did. Nobody even expected uh, Canelo Everett to lose to 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 Beaver, and Canelo Everett did lost to Beaver. Nobody expected uh, Andy and uh, Andy uh, Ruiz to win Anthony Joshua, and it happened. Even Uzik, who now is the heavyweight champion, nobody knew uh, Uzik, or most of all didn't know Uzik, but Uzik won won the fight between he and uh, he and. Um, uh, 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 he and Anthony Joshua. So, you know, it, 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 predicting the fight, you know, it's just what we do. But, you know, people who know boxing or competition, not just boxing, soccer, basketball, you know, baseball, volleyball, lacrosse, and all those sports you can think about, you know, people want to predict who's going to win because of what they are doing in the past. And it's, in most instances, it don't happen. It doesn't happen that way. So, you know, we, 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 I don't want, no one wanted to predict the fight, that, you know, between the two people. And uh, I just, I just think that it was not a great fight, it was a good fight. And uh, now that it does settle, I think we don't know what's going to happen, whether Charlotte is going to fight uh, Crawford or he's going to take another fight, or whether uh, people are saying whether Crawford is going to fight Cardano Everest. So whatsoever the cases, we'll bring you the fight. But get ready for this. On Saturday the 7th, there are going to be a lot of fights coming up. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to The Dust Settle. I'm your host, Kayoki Pico Kanwe. Have a great day. I'll talk to you when I talk to you. Goodbye for now, and see you next week.